All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, VEX bump switch here. So if we're out on the um, if we're, uh, out on the home screen, we're just going to go ahead and run the drive uh, program. So we're going to click check, check again for run. Oops, let's go back out. Let's plug it in first. Okay, so this is our bump switch. It'll work the same for a limit switch as well. Uh, and we're just going to plug it into to A. Remember our three-wire ports go from A down to H. Uh, so this one's an A. So let's go ahead and click the check to start the run program. And then we're going to arrow over to the three-wire tab and click the check again. And now notice that we have a value of 41 here. I can go over to the other uh, uh, ports. Uh, remember, ours is in A, though. Uh, and I can go ahead and click it, and you'll see that I get a value down around 12 and then back up to 41, uh, this being analog in. Now, programmatically, we can probably get a true or false out of this, um, but reading it as an analog read, uh, you can see that the values are 12 and 41. Uh, and we just go, you know, something less than you know, 20 or something greater than 20 or something like that. Okay, so even though, uh, you know, uh, even though we'd be accessing this programmatically using Python or C++ or blocks, uh, it is also nice to uh, see it on our brain just as we're designing uh, to, you know, see if things are actually, get, you know, say if a button is actually getting pressed by the machine when we think it, when they think it is or not prior to programming uh, that, that mechanical design. All right, uh, best of luck. Thank you.